Alright, hello YouTube and welcome to the next Garish Mod Tool tutorial. So today, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the thruster tool. So, let's start. Let's go uh, and look over all of these options. So, first here you see it says forward and reverse. Now guys, I recommend you using a keypad if you do have one. So, um, what? The, okay, let me start. Uh, what does thrusters do? Well, they push stuff from the point where you set it on the prop. So, let's make this to about, oh, nope, 8, and reverse 5, okay. And, you can choose a model, choose whatever you want, uh, I think this can, that's, nope, that's, okay, this one. Uh, and you can choose whatever you want. Um, effects, well, that's what's gonna come out of it, uh, like, you can do smoke, plasma, flames, you can just, you know, take some experiments, let's go with flames. And the sound, the default is steam low. Guys, this sound is so noobish and it's so annoying. Like, guys, let me just... This is the sound of it. Seriously, it's like the most annoying thing in the world. So let's just go with none. The force, well, that's obviously how much force. 10,000 is a lot. Uh, re well, it really depends on how heavy your structure you want to move is. Um, so let me show you. Um, let's go with what seems like... This is a very simple car right here. Um, so let's go like 300. That sounds good. Uh, if you're wondering what these grids are, it's called Smart Snap, so I don't get a million comments about that. Uh, it's called Smart Snap, it's in the workshop, it's pretty cool, it's very useful. Uh, you can set the toggle, which means like if I press 8 once, it will just uh, keep on going. I'm gonna set that off, because it's a car. Uh, collide with attached objects. Let's see, it's probably did really uh, set itself. Activate when damaged, well that basically means, let's say we have it here, and it get damaged by an explosion. Well, then it goes off. Yep. Okay. Now, we got that explained. So let me place one there. So now when I press 8, well, it's moving forward. When I press 5, it's moving backwards. Now, guys, you you can use it to, you know, move up to. So let's put this to plus. See, I can, like, let's say I'll put one right there and there and there and there. And now when I press plus, it goes up like that. You see? So you can make, you know, you can make jets, uh, you can make boats, you can make cars. See, what this does, you know, it just pushes props around, so the, which gives an enormous amount of possibilities. Um, but this is, this is re that's, that's really all it does. But guys, this is like one of the fundamental uh, tools uh, in Gary's Mod. And let me just show you here with a f crap load of uh, force now. This does make a huge difference. See, if I place two of them, it now it together has a combined force of 20,000. Now, 30,000, which really makes it ridiculous, you see? This is very powerful. So, um, usually one thruster is not enough. You just, you know, place more. And if you figure out that your car is not moving and it's, you know, you want it to be like 300, but, you know, it's not too, it's not really enough. You can make like one with 300 here and one with 300 here and then we'll move straight shit. So, yep. Well, guys, I think that is it. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will respond. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.